a big wingman welcome to the wingman's path to positivity to raising your vibration and to creating a life of your choosing i welcome you and i thank you and i appreciate you being here and inviting me and all us wingmates in to share a spark of positive energy because one thing i talk about all the time the more of us that share that spark the easier it is for each of us to hold on to that spark and to share it with our loved ones and our families and our friends and our neighbors and our communities, right? And when we do that, when we surround ourselves with positive energy, it makes it that much easier for us to really begin creating a life of our choosing. So I welcome you. I thank you. If you're new to the path, my name is Michael Gross. I'm the lucky guy who gets to be the wingman on the wingman's path to positivity. And I congratulate you and I celebrate you. Why? Because you have found your way to the wingman's path to positivity and this will help you create a life of your choosing. It's helped so many of us do it and I'm certain it will help you. It's a path of simple one minute practices to help you start sending out a better vibration so the universe can match your vibration and send you back exactly what you want to be, do or have. So let's get to today's practice. And it actually came up for me after yesterday's practice where, because it was Easter, I spoke about resurrection. It got me thinking of a movie Jan and I watched last week called Tsunami Caught on Camera. And it's the story of the tsunami, the 2004 Boxing Day tsunami. And it's all amateur video. It's, it's just um, video of, from everyone who was there live and their videos and their stories and, and what was going on for them. And it was a fascinating movie. Um, but the, every single one of the people who spoke, every single one of them had the same theme afterwards, that I will now live a life worthy of my survival. You know, I, I have to imagine when you're in something like that, when you're, when you're a part of something so, so tragic and so, miraculous I mean it's such a crazy type of thing that you are one of the lucky ones who get to survive when you're a lot of your loved ones and families and friends and did not I think it, it plays on you and I think every one of those people took that to heart and said I will now live a life worthy of my survival and as soon as I saw that last week I thought wow what a great practice for you and I to do to, live, to, to get into our subconscious, right? That we will live a life worthy of our survival. Because maybe you and I, maybe we haven't been in the, in the eye of, a, of the storm, in the eye of a tsunami. But I know if you're on this path with me right now, you've had a few tsunamis in your life which you've had to survive. You've had some tsunamis that you've had to survive. And because you did, because you did, I want you to follow the theme of that movie, of the people from that movie, and live a life worthy of your survival. Live a life worthy of your survival. Say that with me. I will live a life worthy of my survival. Because I know in my life, I faced a few of these tsunamis. Not, not actual tsunamis, but tsunamis of my life. Tragedies and, and happenings and, and, and situations that came up that just beat the heck out of me and knocked me back and knocked me into the rabbit hole and kept me there, kept me feeling like a victim. And I was sending out a vibration of being a victim. Well, no longer, no longer. Once I found the wingman's path, and as you have also, I'm now living a life worthy of my survival and I want you to do the same. You know, it's really funny. I'm, I'm coming to you from a, the beach town, the beach in, in a city. It's actually a pretty large city in Vietnam called Da Nang, Vietnam, and there the beaches on the South China see and when you watch a tsunami movie and you're on the uh, in a beach town it's a whole different game you know now you go into the water and you start thinking differently for example in case you are on the beach one of the things that came up was how the undertow of the ocean pulled the water so far back you know what they might call low tide or high tide well this was so crazy low tide in other words it just pulled the water all the way back, way back, further than you could ever imagine. And because of that, so many people came down to see why and what was happening. Because it was such a phenomena that there was no water, that the water had been all pulled back into the ocean, right? Unfortunately, the people who did, didn't have a chance to survive once the tsunami hit. And so, of course, now being on the beach and being in the water, John and I might be in the water, and when we are, we say, all right, what are we doing in case we see this, you know? Where are we running? 
where are we running? And as one gentleman said in it, you run, who was the, uh, worked at the hotel, he said, you run to the highest hotel you, and you get to the highest floor because if, if it hits you up there, you'll never be able to outrun it no matter how far you run. And it was pretty obvious by, when the, by the disaster. If you have a chance, certainly watch the movie, Tsunami Caught on Camera. But more importantly, let's practice living a life worthy of our survival, of the survival that you had, of the tsunamis in your life that you've overcome and you've survived and you've defeated those obstacles. You've gotten by them. You've beaten down those challenges. You have successfully gotten through them. And so today, let's remind ourselves to live a life worthy of our survival. Say it with me. I will live a life worthy of my survival. Now many in the world of law of attraction would say you should say it more in the present tense. I am living a life worthy of my survival. Either way will be fine for this practice on the wingman's fan. I assure you of that. To get it into your mind that you will live or you are living a life worthy of all that you have survived. Say it again with me, I will live a life worthy of my survival because you know how much you've survived in your life. I thank you so much for joining me today and sharing this practice with me and, and just bringing more positive energy. These, I do these practices every morning, as you know. I do them for free because I find so much negative energy out there that these help me keep my vibration high and keep me creating a life of my choosing, and I knew it could be duplicated and maybe it's helping you as well. So I thank you, have a wonderful day. One in which you live a life worthy of your, or live a day worthy of your survival as you begin living a life worthy of your survival. And I'll see you again tomorrow, your wingman Michael, from the Wingman's Path to Positivity, here in Da Nang, Vietnam, signing off.